Welcome to a new Monday morning routine. It's Coffee with Strangers with Kelly Lemon. Hey, it's Kelly, and today I'm at Pops to grab coffee with Josh Wright. Josh is, wait for it, the owner of Pops. Not to mention the chef, the cook, the baker, the all-around mastermind of Pops. Well, except for when his mom puts him in line. All right, so I start off the show with a cheers. I mean, you're kind of a stranger. I mean, I'm repping the brand. I We're mean, in the building. I mean, we get four minutes <laughs> on occasion right, right, when, right. when we both have the four minutes. Who are you and what do you do in this city? I'm Josh Ray, and I'm lucky enough to own a spot on Restaurant Row. Fifth and Grace, we're doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner, making all fresh breads, cutting fresh pasta in the evening, doing the best we can with just a few people, and my mom leading the crew. <laughs> Pops Market. That's right. We started in November of 2015. No one had been here in 30 years, so we had a lot of work to do. We did what we envisioned this neighborhood needed. When you were envisioning this place, you said fresh bread, fresh pasta. Where did this all come from? It was more about what I like to eat and a great sandwich is hard to beat. I've always loved making pasta and I was fortunate enough. When my father passed away, he left me a little money. Mm -hmm. So I traveled before I started this okay. and I did Italy north to south. Wow. I kept eating as I went and, and I always loved Italian cooking. My dad was not Italian in any way that I can remember, <laughs> but he loved to cook that way. Self-taught? Did you go to school? I did not go to culinary school. Yeah, that's what I was asking. <laughs> I okay. did go to Radford and I cooked the entire time I was there. Yeah. And I have a, a degree in media-based advertising mm. communications. Um, so when I landed back, oh yeah. <laughs> Real quick. Y'all know by now what Maggie Walker's legacy on Jackson Ward means to me. And our friends at Chesapeake Bank have helped preserve some of that legacy by helping finance the renovation of the St. Luke's house. We've got a dope RVA stranger dropping about that soon, so stay tuned and learn more about Chesapeake Bank at chessbank.com slash CWS. Chesapeake Bank, member FDIC. You said you came back which means you are from Richmond? I was from the South Side. Okay. So I was Chesterfield, okay. and I went to Bird High School and headed out to Radford for, for college. Now, when you came out of Radford, you said that the marketing degree part of you wasn't finding anything. So yeah. right into cooking? I got very lucky again with yeah. just connection. Yeah. Um, Michelle from Pasture, Pasture. Okay. literally moved Jones. in next door <laughs> to us. <laughs> and at the time she was managing Six Burner and they were in some transition. Philip had taken over Six Burner from those guys and he was in need and I had enough experience to get in there and get started. When you walk in to Pops, the first person you see is not a Pop. No. It's a mama. Yeah. <laughs> Mom's, mom's is at the door. She is, but I hate to say this, more famous. Oh, absolutely. Than anybody in here. Everybody yeah. knows Mama Patty. Was it hard convincing her to work with you? Like I said, we were happy about the neighborhood and the way that it was going, and we were very happy to be part of it becoming a better place, yeah. and we want it to become even more. And she loves being a part of that, and she, she's she been honored for that. She yeah. has an LB. She has an LB. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's that's a pretty great thing. I mean, nobody's talking about my food, but <laughs> damn, mom ain't the sweetest lady in the world to come <laughs> see. Uh, so we just try to back her up. Yeah. She's amazing at what she does and she really believes in, in everything I do, which keeps me getting up every day. And you work and play here, huh? Yes, I do. Market research, I didn't have to go anywhere to do it. I just looked out my window. We saw a need, the height of it's at lunchtime and everyone walking around and trying to get something all at the exact same moment mm -hmm. <laughs> as the rest of the people filing out of every building downtown. All the fellows are coming back to Chesterfield. And they're like, but we're gonna stay downtown. What are you guys gonna do? The options are almost endless. The river's getting beautiful. Scott's Edition is booming for daytime activities. Yeah. It's a very walkable city. You can stay in touch with all the neighborhoods and you can do them all on foot if you if you have the motivation. Yeah. I would like you to name the last three places you ate. Dutch & Co. Mm -hmm. Alewife has become a quick new favorite. Mm -hmm. The bar program at Saison, mm -hmm. dinner-wise, as well as the market. I love the market. Mm -hmm. That's where it's 
where I rest. Do you drink coffee? Too much. Okay, tell me the routine. I can't even touch it before eight. I'm here at 6.30 making biscuits, but my hands are covered in dough for okay. about the first hour. I'm looking at probably six, six, six? a day. <laughs> Is it straight black? Shameful enough, it's, yeah, it's black, but okay. it's it's sweet and low. Okay. And I, I can't have sugar, I'm diabetic, which is why I make such great desserts, because I want sugar to be in the world for everyone except for me. Never saying never, do you leave Richmond? I saw the other day that in Sicily, you can buy a house. <laughs> okay. For less than a slice of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that's a trash article. Other than that, I really, I really am enjoying where I am, and that's where my focus is now. To hear the rest of my interview with Josh, check out the Coffee with Strangers podcast in your preferred podcast app. Subscribe to this channel on YouTube, and visit coffeewithstrangersrva.com to subscribe to the newsletter. Oh, hit up chessbank.com slash CWS to learn more about Chesapeake Bank. Member FDIC. Okay, see you soon.